So last night I had another one of my dreams and I thought maybe I would just start coming on here to um, share the dreams that I know for a fact are dreams that are spoken into my spirit versus a regular dream. They are, they're different in the sense that the only way that I can describe it is that um, when I'm in the dream, it feels like I'm actually living it. Like I'm in an, an alternate reality. Like it is a, a real life experience and it feels like a real memory rather than a dream. Um, sometimes the details are fuzzy and sometimes they're really clear, but, um, this dream in particular, I was telling my sister about it and I said, I had another dream and it felt like it was important, but I don't, I don't think it means anything. And so as I started to tell her this dream, my, my brain started connecting the dots and I was like, this might actually mean something. So, um, after I share this dream, I will come back later and share a few other dreams and things that have happened this year that I believe are relevant to what I may be sharing on this channel. Um, so last night's dream was I was, I don't, I was in an unknown area, but essentially what I was doing is I knew that, that, that we were going to war somewhere. Like I was trying to recruit people to come fight with me. And, but it didn't feel like a dangerous war. Like there was no fear. I was at peace, but I urgently was trying to collect people, like begging them, come with me, come with me. Um, and when I finally got all the people who wanted to come with me, we got on this, what felt like was a Navy ship. I thought it was a Navy ship. We got on this giant boat. And the second that we got on the boat, everything changed. The moment we were on the boat, it turned into a cruise and everybody was just having a good time hanging out. And I've never been on a cruise, so I, I can't, I don't, I don't know what happens on a cruise, but I, I've seen like Titanic, right? Like, like it kind of was like the Titanic, like there was a deck and people were just casually hanging out. And, um, as I was walking around the ship, I, I started to notice that, um, there were rooms for everybody, but not like hotel rooms, but it was more set up like what I would imagine, um, this sounds stupid, but horse stalls, but like bigger ones. They were like 10 feet wide, 10 feet wide square rooms only separ separated by wooden walls. And all that was in the spot was a bed. Everybody had their own stall, their own bed. And as I was telling the stream to my sister, I started to realize, okay, I just collected people to get on a boat and we went on vacation. And I was like, you know what, come to think of it, you know, this is a stretch. It sounds like a stretch, but it's plausible in, in light of current events and in light of how the dream came through, you know, it's kind of very similar to what I'm doing in real life right now. I am literally telling everybody I know the gospel. I'm literally telling everybody, if you're not right with the Lord, now is the time to get right with the Lord. And I even was telling my dad today before, before I started to speak the stream out loud and, and connect to these dots, I told my dad, I said, you know, in, in the old Testament, God always had people warning people of wrath to come and how to escape judgment. And I said, look at Jonah. He didn't want to do what the Lord asked him to do, but he did it anyways. And because of his obedience, people were spared. They repented and they, they escaped judgment. I said, there's no different. I said, you know, I really don't care. Like there's, there's people right now setting dates for the end times and like, it's going to be this day. It's going to be that day. You know, I don't really care. They're, they're making really great arguments. I'll tell you that, but I don't really care what, what the day is. But what I do know is this has now shifted my brain to realize that even if this is not the end, okay, let's, let's just pretend it's not the end, which is possible because nobody knows when this has completely shifted my attitude to where lo living without sharing the gospel with people every single day, not speaking of Jesus every single day, like that's just who I am now. It's going to happen from, happen from here on out because if the end isn't next week or next month or next year, the end is coming for all. And getting people to repent of their sins and to 
to accept Christ into their life and to surrender their lives to him is just important now as it is 10 years from now if we're still here. It doesn't matter. This urgency will never go away in my life. However, there is a lot of weird things happening right now. And if this is the end or we're leading close to the end and it's, it's, it's years down the road, I'm not going to shut up. I'm, I don't care if people think I'm crazy. Um, it, it really doesn't matter to me. Um, something I read yesterday, or not read, but rather I heard yesterday on a YouTube channel was talking about um, how God told Noah and his family to get on the ark seven days before the flood came. And, excuse me, I do believe that God is telling his people when the end is near and he does want us to sound the trumpets to other people and, and call, call people to repentance because we don't know when that time is, but we know it's coming close. Those of us who know, we know, and we know that we sound insane. And it, I, I told a friend today, would I tell you this? Would I, would I risk sounding this insane? Would I risk sounding this crazy because I love you? And because I want you to hear the truth, would I risk this knowing that you may never talk to me again because of these words I'm speaking to you? I really don't care. I don't care. I, it, I'm, I'm speaking it in love because I care about people. Um, a little bit before I came on here to record this, I saw this lady. She had posted this YouTube channel about um, sometimes, she, I guess she was praying and, and she said she heard the Lord speak to her 40 days or something to that, to that matter. And um, she said she had done the math. And I don't know if this is relevant, but 40 days from the night that I have the dream, or that I, from 40 days from the night that I had the dream last night is November 5th. And, you know, we all know, we all know that the world is crazy right now. Um, those of us who, who are reading the word, we know that what is happening around us is exactly what was prophesied. Um, those who are watching and um, awaiting, we are not fearful. We are not afraid. Um, there's just been too many things happening. The way the Holy Spirit has poured out over my family this year, the way that I have seen a, an absolute, like I said in my last video, it has been a violent awakening of truth in my life. And, and I've been a Christian for over 25 years, but walked in darkness for a long time. God has violently woken my family up and, um, my older teenagers, they think I'm nuts. That's fine. I don't care. Um, but I know something's happening and I know something is shifting and I know something is coming and something is changing. And I don't know what that is, but I know whatever it is, we can't get through it without Christ as our firm foundation. He is our only hope. There is nothing that we can do that will be successful apart from him. And I think that the time is up. The time of warning is up. This is the final call to people. I think this is the last chance for people to get their lives right because the second that uh, the end does come, it's going to be too late. And I believe that um, we all need to be doing exactly what the Lord commands us to do, which is to be ready at all times, to keep um, to keep ourselves alert and aware, to be fervent in prayer, to be preaching the gospel. Stop being afraid of telling people about Jesus because that is why we are here. We are here in the flesh to do his work. He left and gave us the gift of his Holy Spirit so that we can be sent forward into the world to speak his truth to people. And I believe that now more than ever, we need to be doing that. So if you are somebody who has not surrendered all of their life to Jesus, I urge you to do that now because the time is running out. Um, I don't know if you watch the news, but today was a pretty big deal. So I'll be back. I'll be posting more dreams, but um, this was just my dream last night.